Bad news today, ladies and gentlemen. My wife made the coffee this morning. It was significantly better than mine. I don't know what she's doing. I know, it's hurtful. I'm the cook. It's page 51 and 52. I assigned it three days ago. Three days ago. Yes. What is the first answer? 27, because that is the square root of 9 cubed. 3 cubed, 27. Answer number 2. Oh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, weird. Number three. Four hundred and fifty. Number five. I don't know why this came out this way. Twenty seven root five. Do I have corroboration? And Harsh is almost always right, so. Does anybody not have that? And if you don't want to say you don't have that, would anybody like to see how Harsh got that answer? Which doesn't necessarily mean you don't have that answer. You just want to see how somebody else might have done it so you have another mathematical tool for your tool belt. Ah. Did people want to see that one? Okay. Here is the way I do it, okay, which is different from what you do. Because most of you, as I've been saying to many of you since the 10th grade, you have been taught to look for shortcuts and taught that math is a series of steps. So almost all of you will have gotten your calculator out and gone 15 times 27 and gotten a giant answer and then broken it down. Of course, what is the first step to breaking down a giant answer? No, no, no. If we're going to break down a giant number, a giant radicand, what is your first step? To break it into factors, yes? Is that not two factors? So why would you go to the big number? So even if you didn't simplify 27, you were like, no, 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 it's multiplying. Got to multiply the radicands. Meyer says multiply the radicands which I never did. I always say simplify first. But let's pretend you ignored that part and you went straight to multiply. Then what you have is 3 root 15 times 27. Then you break that down. 3 and 5, 3 and 9, and of course you stop because there's a pair, 3 and 3, so out comes a 3. Square root of 9 is 3, so out comes a 3. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. That was gone, that was gone, that was gone, and you left a five. Okay? I cannot stress this enough. If you're not going to simplify first because you are locked in on multiply the coefficients, multiply the radicands, then don't actually get to that giant answer. It's already half simplified for you. Okay? Okay. This one is, of course... 16. Tricky. Want to see it? Cubed root of negative 64 squared. Break 64 down. That is 4 times 16 and 4 times 4. And even if they're all negative, 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 negative is going to get you a negative, right? So it becomes negative 4 squared. Negative is part of the base, so it is positive 16. Yeah? Yeah. Number 4, I'll do the other way, not this way. We'll simplify first, which is 9 times 6, which is 21 root 6 times 2 root 6 which is 42 root 36, which is 42 times 6, which is 252. Questions? Comments? 
Excellent. If there's one three out there and it was a fourth root, how many threes were under the radical sign? Three to the fourth, which is, of course, 2 times 81, which is, of course, fourth root of 162. All of those are pretty much one-steppers. I would say everything on this page, I would say everything to 14 is going to be worth one. Because it's just the same thing over and over again, right? Uh, no, I suppose they could all be worth two because you have to remember how to multiply after you simplify. I'm looking at two different skills here. So give yourself two for everything. Uh, if you don't have that answer and all that work. If you have the work and the wrong answer, you get one because you must have done something right in the work. There's no way anybody in the room is doing none of the work right. Yes. Uh, let me ask you this. Which way do you prefer I go about this? Would you rather simplify first or do you like the keep them separate as factors? Or does it even matter? Everybody can think about both. Doesn't matter. Should I alternate between the two? Okay. So this, I'm going to make that 3 times 4 root 20 times 45, which gives me 12. That is 5 and 4. That is 9 and 5. 4 has a square root. 2. 5 and 5. 5. 9 has a square root. 3. Did I leave anything under there? No. 12 times 2 times 5 times 3. If you do that in order, and I've not let you have a calculator, some of you are going to be like, Mah! but 2 times 5 is 10, right? 10 times 12 is 120, right? 12 times 3 is 36, but there's a 0 because we were at 120, so it's 360. Here... Again, uh, I did the factors method, so here I'll simplify. That's 8 times 2, so that is 6 cube root 2 times 2 cube root 4 times 2 cube root 2, which gets me 6 times 2 times 2, 24 cube root 2 times 4 times 2, 16. That is 8 times 2, out comes a 2. 48 cube root 2. Questions? Comments? Other than, thanks for doing such a great job, Myers. You just make these cloudy days brighter. I notice you were all jumping to agree with that sentiment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll be appearing here until the end of January. Tip your waitress. All right. Distribution. What's the first one? 4 root 21. Minus 8 root 15. Am I done? Yes. Don't try to force math that isn't there. 21 is 3 times 7, no pairs. 15 is 3 times 5, no pairs. Hello? Please do. Now, some of you still, to this day, make me want to cry a little into my pillow because you're still bringing that two to both of these. That is not right. This is a base. How do you know it is a base? Because it's got brackets. An exponent of 2 means you must write the base twice and multiply it to get root 36 minus root 12 minus root 12 plus root 4. 6 minus 2 root 12 plus 2. 8 minus 2 root 12 and then 
4 times 3, 8 minus 4 root 3 to get the full two marks available to you. Are you applauding yourself? Well done. You thought I was going to give you a hard time, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Why would I ever give you a hard time for cheering yourself on? Right? Unless, of course, you're cheering yourself on when you don't deserve it. <coughs> Barftastic. I would simplify. Uh, I think I'm on simplify first, aren't I? Sure, whatever. I don't know. That is root 5 minus 3 root 5 times, that's 25 times 3, 5 root 3 plus 3 root 3. Now, some of you will look at that and say, ah, foil. No, why not? Root 5, root 5, root 3, root 3. What can you do? Add them up. 5 minus root, 1 root 5 minus 3 root 5 is negative 2 root 5 times 5 root 3 plus 3 root 3 is 8 root 3. Now multiply negative 16 root 15. How many people foiled and took the whole? Yeah, 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 yeah. Once again, once again, don't memorize steps. Look at the question. Have the steps in your mind, but look at the question. Okay? And here, that is uh, 2 root 5 plus 6 root 2 minus 3 root 5 to get 6 root 2 minus root 5. I changed the order because we don't like a negative at the front. If you wrote negative root 5 plus 6 root 2, do you have the same answer and is it right? Yes. Sometimes you may get a teacher or a professor who's like, no, 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 no. That won't do. Okay? And no, I don't think all professors are stuffy old people with bad English accents. No, they're not, as a matter of fact. I had one English prof at all of university, and he was indeed stuffy. He talked like this, and he had that thing with the chin where his neck was tight, and he always rubbed his suit jacket whenever he spoke. And it was a course on Chaucer and his contemporaries, and he spoke like this. And one time he caught me reading the newspaper in his class and he was not very pleasant to me. Huh? He got mad at me for reading the newspaper. Yes. Because I hated his class. And I paid, you know, at that time, $800 to take his class. If I didn't want to pay attention, I wasn't going to pay attention. Sure. 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 Make them out of a thousand. It's the same percentage. That's what you guys don't get. I can make all these worth 10. So this is now out of 190 points. But if you get 170 out of 109, that's the same as 17 out of 19. And that's what counts, right, Preston? Facts be damned. Feelings matter. 25 times 6, 9 times 6, 4 times 6. 60 root 6 minus 15 root 6 plus 6 root 6. 60 root 6 minus 9 root 6, 51 root 6. Now, I know I should be asking you people to give me these answers, but it's the end of the week and I'm tired of asking questions and hearing crickets. I know you all have the answers, but none of you are willing to offer the answers. So I sit up here looking like an idiot. 
So I might as well just write them out. 27 times 4, 8 times 4, 64 times 4, 6 cube root 4, plus 2 cube root 4, plus 12 cube root 4 is 20 cube root 4. And you stop. Even though some of you will see that, see a 4 under a radical sign and try to bring out a 2. But you can't. Why not? Because it's cube root. Now, if you were all still in grade 10, I would have expected to catch a few people with that. But since you're not, I expect nobody was fooled there. Am I right? Excellent. See, that wasn't crickety. That was well done. Uh, root 7. Uh, Got to simplify here. Um, 6 root 6 over um, 12 root 2 to get root root 3 over 2. People want to see how I got from there to there? Or are we happy? Excellent. Happy, happy, joy, joy. That is 120 root 2 over 10 root 2. Nai lai, 10 root 5. Um, 120 divided by 10 is 12 root 2 over root 5. We multiply by root 5 and we get 12 root 10 over 5. Everybody is still good? Now, Brittany classically caught that this question has shown up numerous times in your mathematical career with me. It was in your grade 10 book. It has been in your notes in this book. We have done this particular question numerous times. That is the cubed root of 8K over the cubed root of 3, which gets you 2 cube root K over cube root 3, which you then must rationalize by multiplying by cube root 3 what? Cube root 3 squared. Why does that square need to be there? Because it is cubed root. And to get rid of that radical, I need the cubed root of 3 cubed. So there is one 3 and there is two more 3s. So the numerator becomes 2 cube root 9k which gets me 2 cube root 9k over 3. And then I stop. Multiply by 5 root 3 plus root 2. 5 root 3 plus root 2. 35 root 3 plus 7 root 2 over 15 plus 4, 19. Do I stop? Or sorry, sorry, 15 minus 4, 11. 5, 25 times 3, 75 minus 4, 71. 75 minus 2, 73. Boy, if only I'd shown work, right? Would I have made that many mistakes if I actually wrote 25 root 9 minus root 4? Of course not. But I start looking like an idiot because I start working in my head while I'm talking. Kind of like when you try to work in your head while you're listening to music. Yeah. Or work in your head while you're watching Netflix. Yeah. Mom, I am doing my homework. Oh, yeah? What are you doing? Watching Big Mouth. (laughs) 
Now, am I going to try and do this one in my head or am I going to write it out? Yeah. Because that was thoroughly embarrassing. 3 root 2 minus 6 root 5 plus 2 root 6 minus 4 root 15 over root 4 minus 4 root 25. Anything up top to tidy? Two minus twenty, negative eighteen. And lastly, least to greatest. How do I do it? Change them to entire radicals. Root one twenty five. Root 112, root, huh? 126, one more 14. And root, yeah, this one's 126. 126 and root 120. Put them in order from least to greatest. Four root seven, five root five. I lie, 2 root 30, 5 root 5, 3 root 14. Everything's out of 2. So it's going to be out of 42. Test reminders. Everything's out of 2. There were 21 questions. 42 is an important number because, as you all well know, it is indeed the meaning of life. According to the novel, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, 42 is the meaning of life. But I read that book in, like, 1999. So, yeah, it was good. But I don't actually remember why they explained that it is 42. Huh? Huh? What? That the meaning of life is 42? All right. Uh, test reminders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's very, very difficult for me to write the test reminders because I don't know what you're not so hot at, right? But what you've got to be good at Number one skill you need, more than anything, is to be able to simplify radicals. Because everything comes from that. Everything in this whole unit. And quite frankly, a lot of the rest of this course is based on simplifying stuff that looks ugly. So that's a grade 10 concept, right? You've got to be able to simplify a radical. I don't care how you do it. There's a million ways. I'm sure if you Google simplifying radicals and hit videos, you'll literally find 10 different ways to do this. Some will draw pictures. Some will use numbers. I don't care. Just some way be good at simplifying radicals. To be good at simplifying radicals, you must understand indices. You have to know what they mean. Okay? You have to. Right? The second thing you got to be good at is you have to understand the difference between adding, which automatically means subtracting, right? And multiplying. What do I need to add radicals? Same index, same radicand. 3 root 3 plus 6 root 3 can be added. 
because I have same index and same simplified radicand. Please underline, highlight, Mrs. Bad Crumble Cloud. Don't care. Same simplified radicand. And that is only for adding, which I will highlight in yellow and put a Mrs. Bad Crumble Cloud around it so you know that they all work with adding. Okay? What do I need to multiply? And in multiply, I'm going to draw two branches. And we'll see who can remember. Same index. So, if I have 3 root 7 times 3, I don't want to use 3, times 2 root 8, I have 6 root 56 because they share the same index. Is there any other time we could multiply when they don't share the same index? Not quite. Yes, if they have the same variable radicand. So, cubed root of x times square root of x is doable because it's a variable. Because this is x to the one-third times x to the one-half, which is x to the five-sixths, which is the sixth root of x to the fifth. Okay? Everybody good? I don't think I put that on a test anywhere. I really don't think I did. But if I did, I want to make sure you've all seen it. Yeah, yeah? Okay, highlight variable and put a alien Mrs. Bad Crumble cloud around it. Because, right, well, I mean, clouds aren't blue either, so, but what was I going to do? I don't have a highlighter that really represents a cloud better than blue. Unless it was on Venus, then I could put green clouds. I don't have a gray highlighter, dude. I mean, I got this gray. But see that? It's not a highlighter. I mean, I could. It is fall on the south coast of BC. I could use gray clouds for everything. Because we'll never see another cloud that isn't a gray cloud until May. Those of you from Brazil, I apologize. But it's better than snow. Um, and finally... Uh, three, divide radicals. Two rule, two things to remember here. Well, one, what do I need? Same index, right? Then if, now I'll just write out the rule. X over Y root A over B. That is simply x divided by y, then a root, a divided by b. Unless what? If a and b won't divide, then I have to rationalize. which is always multiply by the conjugate. Yeah? Conjugates, I remind you, root 5. What do I have to multiply it by? <coughs> root 5. Root 7x, what do I got to multiply it by? Root 7x. Root 
3x plus 7? No. 3x plus 7. Because the root is over everything. And 5 root 7. What do I multiply that by? I could use just root 7, or I could use the 5, but this means more simplifying. Why am I making a big deal out of this one? Because when we get to this one, 2 root 3 minus 7, what's that guy's conjugate? What's that guy's conjugate? 2 root 3 plus 7. I gotta remember the 2 and the 2. But I don't gotta remember it down here. Everybody good, sir? Yeah. Because the root of x times the root of x is the root of x squared. So this whole thing, because the radical sign covers it all, this is x. Right? So it would be the root of 9x squared plus uh, 21 times 21, 42x plus 49. Yes? And then if I factored that with my grade 10 factoring skills, I would find it was 3x plus 7 times 3x plus 7, which makes the root of that one of those. And we're going to remind you how to factor there. That's why I'm talking about this now, because what's our next unit? Polynomials. What are we going to do? Factor, factor, factor. And then what are we going to do? Factor some more. And then after that, what are we going to do? Factor some more. Then we're going to write a test on it. And then what are we going to do in quadratics, linear inequalities, rational expressions? Factor, factor, and factor. Uh, it's 1048. I think I have time to get your marks. What do you need? Yes. What was just asked was this, ladies and gentlemen. If this was root of 3x plus 7, then it would be root of 3x minus 7. Okay? Okay. Okay.